I'm Miss Beach. I'll be the PE teacher for grades uh, pre-K through 8. Um, due to the protocol, we're going to spend as much time outside as possible on this lovely field. The children will be remaining social distance apart, as well as downstairs, they are 12 feet apart. If you have any questions, please email me at jbeachstmarys.org. Hi, 8th grade parents. My name is Janine Mellon and I'm the guidance counselor here at St. Mary's. This year, your child will be taking the tax entrance exam to get into the Catholic high school of their choice. In response to COVID-19, the Diocese of Rockville Center has joined forces with the Diocese of Brooklyn and the Diocese of New York to administer one test exam, which is the tax exam. Many of you who have older children who have been through this process may be familiar with the cheese exam. This exam will not be given this year. In order to register your child for the tax exam, you should go to the website taxinfo.com. Within this website, it will give you many directions on how to register your child. Registration closes on October 23rd. No late registration will be accepted this year. Once you register your child, you will be receiving an extensive email with directions along with the confirmation on what date your child will be taking the exam, along with the tax ID number. Your child will be taking the exam on November 7th, 2020, remotely from home. Your child will, on October 30th, receive an email that will let you know the specific time that your child is sitting for the exam. You are not able to request the time nor are you able to change the time. You also are going to, on this website, once you register your child, be able to put in the three choices that your child would like to put down for the schools that they want their scores to be submitted to. The first school that I always say, their first high school choice should be the one they really want to attend next year, along with then the second choice and the third choice. You must put three choices for your scores to be submitted to any school. So again, the three choices must be put on there. You have until November 5th to do this process. You could go in there now and put three choices down and you can change it as many times as you like, but on November 5th, those choices are locked in. If you have any further questions about this process, I know it's very different. Please feel free to reach out to me. You can call me at St. Mary's or you could email me at jmullen5609 at stmary. 11030.org. I am here for you during this process. I know at times it can be a little nerve wracking and um, you may have many questions, but I promise you that this will be a smooth process and I will be there to guide you in any way. Have a good evening and I look forward to hearing from you. Hi, I'm Ms. Kedash and I'm your child's music teacher this year. Um, here at St. Mary's, our students will come to music once a week. So 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, I will see you once a week. Um, due to the new guidelines, we will actually be having a majority of our classes, as weather permitting, outside, so that we could uh, have that 12 feet of distance when singing. Um, if we're inside, we will not be singing to keep that safety for our children. Um, so I'll see you once a week. We will have our Google Classroom page, which will be our main tool to communicate amongst us all. So you will use Google Classroom for different assignments or different notes to keep in mind through distance learning or in-person learning. That's gonna be the best place for you to see any information from me. I also have a website that's on St. Mary's website that can give you general information. Um, sixth and eighth grade will be in participating in the Christmas concert and seventh grade will be in the spring concert. This year, because of all the guidelines, we will not have our Christmas concert in person. We are currently working on a new plan of some sort of distance virtual concert that will be recorded and sent out, um, and more information will be put out there. But there will be something to celebrate the Christmas season and to have in place of a traditional concert. We're hoping that maybe the spring could be a little bit better there, um, but that news will be coming out as it comes to us. Um, my email is the best way to contact me. It's J Kedash, K I E D A I S C H 5609 at St. Mary 11030.org. 
Um, all that is on my website and on St. Mary's website to contact me. I will do my best to get back to you within 24 hours on that. Um, stay safe. I hope to see you soon and I can't wait for a great year. Hola, me llamo Senora Tolino. Things sure are different, but what's not different is the passion I have for teaching languages. Here at St. Mary's Middle School, we offer a Spanish program for our students that makes them the most prepared students in high school. Beginning in grade six, this is our foundation year. It's our preliminary year. They only meet once a week, but it's one of our most important years because it prepares them and gets them ready for the next two. Grades seven and eight, they meet three, three times a week. Here, we explore many different areas, beginning with our grammar. We go from nouns to adjectives to verbs, regulars, irregulars, present tense, all the way up to the preterite. Then we incorporate reading, writing, speaking, and listening, all the components that they will need to be the most prepared students in high school and the most prepared for their flax exams in their third year in high school. Um, one of the most best things that we can offer our students is a language. Whether they continue to speak Spanish and study Spanish after St. Mary's, this is where it all begins. Hi, St. Mary's families. Mrs. Trippy here. I am the computer science and technology teacher for grades K through 8th and the STEM teacher for grades K. I'm just going to go do a brief overview of what we will be learning this year. Obviously, each grade will be learning similar topics just based on their, uh, just based on age appropriateness. We will start off with keyboarding. Um, I love to teach my little ones the basic keyboard, finding the home row, learning those letters, or just finding those le alphabet letters on the keyboard. And then as we get older, we will be practicing using that home row and typing all the way up through eighth grade. We also will be coding. I like to use code.org. Um, some of my classes, some of my uh, older classes, I'll probably be using Scratch as well, but we'll be using code.org mostly to um, teach coding. We will be learning all the Google applications. I will be teaching your children about Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms, Slides. Sixth grade will be designing their own websites using Google. We will also touch base a little bit probably on YouTube depending on how much time we have during the school year. So your children will be Google gurus before they leave St. Mary's. Um, we also use iPads and one of, the, one of my favorite activities in iPads are using QR codes. So they will learn how to use a QR code, design a QR code. Um, we can also use clickers, which is kind of like Jeopardy, if, where they used to press the button. Instead, they'll be holding up a card, and they'll be able to scan the room if we're reviewing any Q&R type of answers based on a topic that we will be learning. Again, like I said earlier, we will be using iPads currently right now. My second graders are using the iPads. They're being sanitized in between the periods, and we will be doing various um, activities with those iPads. We also will be doing 3D printing. How cool is that? So every grade will leave St. Mary's this year with a 3D print, depending on the topic that I give them. So for example, last year I had my fourth graders make pumpkins. They designed their own. They drew it using Tinkercad.com, using the, um, the sketch feature, and then we were able to print out those pumpkins in 3D form. And like I said, not, last but not least, my K through third grade students will be getting STEM mixed in with their technology classes. This year they're not using the computer lab. Hopefully soon they will be. So I will be pushing into the rooms and uh, figuring out creative ways for their lessons inside their own cohorts. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at any time. I look forward to seeing you guys, um, whether it be out in the parking lot at dismissal or whether you're popping in at the office for something. Um, but like I said, I love seeing your children every day and I'm even more excited that I get to see grades K throughout this year. All right, I wish you all a very successful school year and everybody stay safe, safe and healthy.